Only four more spots remain in the quarterfinal round. Hello, everyone. Craig Johnson along with Scott Hudson. And we have the final first round matches. In the first one, it'll be Axel Rotten against Exotic Adrian Street, the Battle of the Brits. Absolutely. These two men come over from England. They are very, very popular, not the right word. Adrian Street, very popular. Axel Rotten, not very popular. They're very successful in England. They're going to face in the ring here on Supercard. The Global Wrestling Federation Television Championship is truly global. That's evidenced by the two Britons coming over to vie for the crown. Axel Rotten, the Commonwealth Champion. Jeff Gaylord takes on an unknown quantity and Rasta the Voodoo Man. He has not been seen. We've just heard a lot about him. Lots and lots of press for Rasta the Voodoo Man. I wouldn't know him if he came in front of me right now, but I got a feeling with a name like that, he's going to be something impressive to watch. We know about Jeff Gaylord. He already is impressive. That could be a great match. Jimmy James to take on Big Bully Busick from Powerhouse Hill. I'm very, very familiar with Big Bully Busick. He's from Atlanta, Georgia. Well, he wrestles in Atlanta, Georgia. He will never let you forget he is from Powerhouse Hill. I'm very familiar Weirton, with Busick. West Virginia. In Weirton, West Virginia. should be Weird Town, West Virginia, if that's where Busick is from. That's going to be a devastating match for one of those two. If Jimmy James can come up with the upset, Busick is going to be mentally devastated. If Busick wrestles the normal Busick match, Jimmy James is going to be physically devastated. Here's one that we thought might have been a later round match, but the competition so fierce... Buddy Landell against gorgeous Gary Young. Absolutely a fantastic match. You know, Craig, we had over 100 applicants to get into this tournament for the GWF Television Championship. The luck of the draw put a match between gorgeous Gary Young and Buddy Landell. Should be a main event. I would have thought that would have been a later round match. It's here in the first round. The new center and the fans question and a whole lot of action coming to you on Supercard. Stay tuned. This ESPN program is brought to you by Smooth Bush Beer and Easy Drinking Bush Light. So, did you break him, Rog? Break him? I own him. That horse and I are one. We achieved this special kind of oneness. Man and beast. Speaking the same language. What's that mean? means I'll be talking again tomorrow. Brace yourself. The summer movie has arrived. Trust me. An incredible trip. Arnold Schwarzenegger is superb. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Terminator 2, Judgment Day. Rated R. Now playing at a theater near you. A sprinter who hailed from Hoboken explained how the record he'd broken. I felt something burning down in my groin, and my jockstrap was practically smoking. Croats, Kings, Chuck Itch, Funkus. Vision is slightly less than 20-20, and now it might be a little cockeyed after that. Slam into the turnbuckle, to the ropes, because Brian Adias, ah, oh, three points! Billy Black falls down in the end zone. And Adias thinks that he's back... In his days with the Mavericks from UTA. One more kick. I don't think he was a kicker, though. I think he was playing wide receiver at the time. Well, he could have been a kicker on my team right there with a boot like that to a big man like Billy Black, and he brought him up off the mat. The elbow. Oh, oh my. Billy Black almost turned up, well, turned a complete flip in the ring, and here goes Adias to the top. This could be the end of Billy Black's very short attempt to win the global television title. Oh, he got his up. The knees are up. And he's got a hold of the tights, but it's a count of three. Well, we see why they call him the bad boy. Sweet Daddy Falcone says Randy Rhodes down to the mat. Thinks he has it. Count of one, count of two. But Randy Rhodes somehow gets up. We will also see Phantasma against Wild Bill Irwin. Phantasma, one of the biggest stars of Lucha Libre in Mexico. Can't wait to see Phantasma make his debut here in the Global Wrestling Federation, Craig. Lucha Libre, one of the great wrestling organizations in the world. Very, very exciting. It's going to be a great match later on today. Bulldog by Randy Rhodes. You might say goodnight to Sweet Daddy. Good night, Sweet Daddy. To the ropes again. Big rock kick. A man who is 6'6", 280, 
up into the air for the big drop kick, but Lane barely gets that foot on the rope. You've got to be impressed with the Patriots. Lane sends him in. Oh, Cornette. Advantage, Cornette. As he and Stan Lane seem to think that this is match point. Oh, this is horrible. Jim Cornette just waylaid the Patriot from behind with that racket. No! You were talking about two and nine tenths. How about 2.99 there? Oh, my goodness. It was too close. The Patriot barely out of it. Lane. Oh, we can't get him up. Oh, Cornette goes down. Roll up. One, two, three. Yeah. The red, white, and blue coming through. Close to the rope, Fantasma. Gets him with a flying forearm. Unos, dos, but not a count of three. Oh, boy. Fantasma now with the best of Wild Bill. Watch out. Bill almost meeting the turbo. He's got the whip in his hand. Fantasma gets the whip into the midsection. Bill Irwin turning the tide. They don't have whips in Lucia Lee Ray Craig. I don't think Fantasma's ever had to deal with anything like that as Bill Irwin introduces that forward object into the ring and Fantasma now being had at the hands of Bill Irwin. Thank you for not saying the global object. Oh. There's the gut wrench suplex. Count of one, count of two, count of three. Bill Irwin gets it. People coming in from all over the country and all over the world, certainly to the Global Wrestling Federation. What a great time it is to be a wrestling fan to see all these new people coming into wrestling. Oh. A clothesline attempted by the Zebra Kid, but nay, said Terry Garvin, as we moved around and got the arm bar. Single arm takedown as Terry Garvin wraps up the left wing there of the Zebra Kid, the left hoof, if you would, please, of the Zebra Kid, takes him down, lots of this good mat work. Terry Garvin knows those five points of balance, the head, the two arms, the two legs. He has got one of those arms working on it, but now the Zebra Kid coming back, trying to take the measure of Terry Garvin. The Zebra Kid, reversal by Garvin. There's a possible DDT coming. Hello. Nobody's going to get up from that. It's time to go to the glue factory for the Zebra Kid. Now, Daniels comes back with the sunset grip. I don't think so. Oh, oh my. No. That's what Norman used to do to finish the match. He goes, that's not it. This is not Norman. This is Muck and Singh. And from what I understand and what I've been told by his press agent, he's not finished until it's the Karachi Crunch. Oh, my God. What could that be? We have yet to see it, but I... Well, I got a hunch we're about to see it. Oh, no. Oh, oh my God. Private Terry Daniels. Can you put cast on ribs? Well, I think this may be a uh, discharge. Oh. This is horrible, Craig. The man from Pakistan winning with a Karachi crunch. Are they going to have to reach down, find that second effort, that second win, that intangible that we just can't put a name to to win this match? These are two great, great wrestlers. Summers locks it in. Pulls him over with a suplex. But you see Summers, after that great offensive move, could not keep the momentum to go right out. He looks like he wants to go to the top. He couldn't do it really quick. He had to stop and catch his breath because they've just been going at it so hard. Maybe any misses. Nobody home in Conan land. Chris Walker out of the way. And now Walker, is he making a mistake by going up to the top rope? He could be setting himself up here, Craig. Summers has been around the horn. He knows what to look out for. Look at Walker, perched and ready in that top corner. And if Summers doesn't get up, Walker may be counted out. But hello there. Oh. Cross body block. One, two, three. That's what it says right here. 222. He's already got that label. Huh? From his travel agent. The hitman coming back at all. Rips in the grip of the ropes. Yeah. Come on. Escaping the hitman. Uh-oh. 
He tried to pull out of that one. Craig, he's down. Two. Oh, almost three. You saw Rogers hesitate coming off those ropes. He tried to avoid that clothesline by the hitman. He couldn't, and down he went for a two count. First off by Rogers. Gets him down. DDT. This sales call may be over. One, two. Oh. Ring the bell and ring the cash register. Rip Rogers gets it. With so many nature boys in professional wrestling, I'm here with the man who claims to be the only nature boy, nature boy Buddy Landell. Well, I don't see that there are many plurals, Buddy Rogers, 60s, Ric Flair in the 80s, Nature Boy Buddy Landell in the 90s. And the reason why they call me the Nature Boy is for uh, the simple reason Sean Connery calls me up and asks me about women. Let's move on to other things, man. Let's talk about them people out there that are nothing but wannabes that didn't get an education or sitting at an armchair right now telling their old lady sipping on a beer, I should, I could, I would have. But the bottom line is you didn't. I'm here and you're there. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. And whoever I come in contact with in global wrestling, I'm going to stomp a mud hole in them and walk it dry. What do you think about that, Scott? Well, Buddy Landell certainly has a storied history in professional wrestling fans. Buddy Landell here in global professional wrestling to wreak havoc. Buddy, who are you looking for? I don't care. I'm looking for the money. That's what I'm talking about. I want to tell the promoters it takes, it, you got to pay the cost to be the boss. If you want Nature Boy Buddy Landell, throw the green down, then I'll sell you some tickets. That's exactly where I'm coming from. Experience Legs In, the extraordinary museum-like historic landmark in Cross Village. Its unique blend of old world European and Indian cultures, built on a bluff with spectacular views of Lake Michigan, makes it an ultimate place to dine or view magnificent sunsets. Enjoy the traditional Polish or American specialties inside surrounded by unique artifacts or in the garden. Legs In is always a great place to gather with family and friends and stay for live entertainment or dancing. Just a short scenic drive from any northern Michigan location to the unmatched Legs In Cross Village. Today, we visited Mackinac, Harbor Springs, and the surrounding areas. Summer vacations, they pass by so fast. This year, we captured our summertime fun with photos. Then we took our film to Bayview One Hour Photo because they developed our color prints on premium Kodak Ektacolor Royal paper. Look at the sharp details, rich color, and beautiful finish in just one hour. Take your film to Bayview One Hour Photo and enjoy your prints on Kodak Royal paper. Bayview Photo, across from the Bayview Golf Course, Petoskey. Ruben Sierra leads the Texas Rangers stampede through the AL West. Joe Carter pilots the high-flying first-place Blue Jays. The Rangers meet the Blue Jays live at 8 Eastern on ESPN Sunday Night Baseball. The Battle of the Brits kicks off our action on this edition as we continue the television championship tournament when we finish. Number two. This is Axel Rodden. He takes on this man, exotic Adrian Street. Now, some of you might remember if you saw Major League Wrestling that Axel Rodden came down to the ring using exotic Adrian Street's music. Street a little bit miffed about that. So now it's the elegant one against the man who calls himself a pop from Kingsbridge, I believe. Excuse me, Newcastle, England. It's one of those medieval names. I get messed. I get messed up when I take a right at the London Bridge instead of a left. Oh yeah, that happens to me all the time. I usually drive off into the river. Boy, is Axel Rotten every mother's dream or what? Who doesn't want their kid to grow up looking just like that? And the purple hair is a little bit much. Well, I think I think everything about Axel Rodden is just a little bit much. His attitude. The only thing that's not much is his hair. Greg, look, there's, there's no hair. He's got the thing. It's like a weed eater got hold of him. Like, boy, howdy! I tell you, Axel Rodden, who claims to be a soccer star from Newcastle, 302 pounds, going against exotic Adrian Street, coming in at a little bit over 220. So the weight advantage on the tail of the tape goes to Axel, and Axel's going, I don't know. Whoa, hello. How are you, Mr. Rotten? Well, what a better way to introduce yourself, and uh, I don't think I ever want to meet anybody like that, but Axel, look, look, it's got Axel on the run. <laughs> Adrian says, I can do the Rotten Trot. Rotten Trot, that's rotten a new one. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. The pulsating pecs, and the Rotten's going, I, I can do that. Does, just doesn't quite look as good. Hammerlock by exotic Adrian Street on the Commonwealth Champion. 
That's something I haven't mentioned, but Rodden comes to the United States as the Commonwealth Champion. One of the most respected titles in Europe, Craig, the Commonwealth Championship. Axel Rodden has held that championship now for quite some time in the Global Wrestling Federation. But we've got to wonder, who does he defend that title against over there? We don't really get over there too much, you and I. We've been a couple of times over to, to Spain and to Austria to, to scout people for the Global Wrestling Federation. And that's where we found Axel Rodden with the, the uh, Commonwealth title. But he never wrestled A.G. Street before. And he also had the guts to come out to the man's music on Major League Wrestling. I think that shows this guy isn't playing with the full deck. Well, a man who claims to be a rock singer, except I think he dances to a different tune, Axel Rotten against a man who has three albums on the charts in Great Britain, and uh, I guess he, Adrian Street is showing Axel that he knows a little bit something about wrestling there. Well, I think Axel Rotten knows an awful lot about everything with that hawker he's got on him in there. That haircut, I can't get over that haircut. Who does he think he is in there? Well, from what I understand, that haircut alone got him kicked off one of his soccer teams. Good, good. He was thrown off another soccer team for running into the referee uh -huh. one too many times. And the first soccer team he was on at age 10, he kicked the coach. Very good. Very so, good. It was his dad, I understand, wasn't it? it was... Unfortunately, you're right. I just didn't want to mention that. Good heavenly days. You, you're seeing exactly what I don't want to have anything to do with, and that's Axel Rotten. What a great name. Isn't it just interesting how somebody is born with a name like Axel Rotten? This guy's not going to grow up to be a preacher. He's not going to grow up to be like a social worker. He's going to grow up to be a professional wrestler, and he's also not going to grow up to be a good one. He is just bad. He's bad from top to bottom. What little top there is on the guy. Well, I would not say that he's a bad wrestler because if he was a bad wrestler he would not be the commonwealth no, champion I, I didn't mean that kind of bad i mean attitude bad he certainly he has made no friends since we've been in the global wrestling federation i can't name one wrestler who pals around with him goes out after the matches maybe wants to room with him in the hotel or drive with him to the matches speaking of a man that i would not to see not like to see anywhere near my hotel near my rental car near any restaurant i'm in coming up next Six foot seven plus. Uh -huh. Rasta oh, no. the voodoo man. Rasta. And don't call him man because he, well, I've just heard that you don't want to mess with the voodoo man. I don't mess with anybody with voodoo in their name. I don't care who it is. I'm going to call him man. I'm going to call him mon. I just won't call him period. If he's got voodoo stuck somewhere in there, he's, uh, he's off my Christmas card list real quick. Now, we're talking of power of a different type. No voodoo dolls anywhere near the place because, first of all, the GWF people would not let him bring anything like that in. Well, that's good. That's certainly good. I've got to admire the GWF for not allowing Rasta the Voodoo Mind to bring his voodoo dolls and the like into the ring. It just has no place in it. Now, look at Adrian Street. Yeah, I think he's had about enough of Axel Rotten and a series of forearms and referee Sean O'Brien. Axel Rotten has him and hits Adrian Street with it. Puts it under his arm. Count of one, count of two, count of three. Axel Rotten has upset Adrian Street. Wait a minute. The referee saw it before an object. He raised his hand. The ring announcer was already announcing the winner, Craig, and the referee, Sean O'Brien, found the foreign object that Axel Rotten used. He's declaring Street the winner. gentlemen, we're here at ringside for the fight card of the century. Sports Illustrated proudly presents history's greatest knockout video with commentary from Mike Tyson. And the video is free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Call now and get ringside seats to this illustrious event. You'll witness over 40 of the most memorable, most talked about fights in boxing history.
and you'll be knocked out when you hear that the video is free. Yes, it's free when you subscribe to Sports Illustrated, the magazine that gives you hard-hitting stories and photos week after week. And you'll get the football preview issues in the 92 swimsuit issue. Call now and save over 55% off the cover price. You'll get 23 issues for three easy monthly installments of $9.99 each. For faster delivery, use your credit card. So call now. Witness Foreman versus Roman, Lewis versus Tom, Liston versus Clay, and see Mike Tyson become the youngest heavyweight champion ever. Call to order or renew today. Use your credit card. Get knockout savings on Sports Illustrated and get history's greatest knockout video free. I have never seen anything like this in my announcing career. Rasta the Voodoo Man from Montego Bay, Jamaica, going against Jeff Gaylord from Kansas City, Missouri. But look at the mammoth size just climbing over the top rope. Oh, my. Praying to whatever it is he prays to. The Voodoo Man. What's he doing? He's pointing to his left shoulder. What is he doing? Is that some kind of curse? No. Look at Gaylord. He doesn't know quite what to think of it. Neither do I. That makes two of us. I'm in Is Jeff's that the, mo the scariest sight you have ever seen? Wow. Look at the body on this guy. He's, doing, he's done more than sling pineapples or whatever they do where he's from down there. He is huge. My... Rasta the Voodoo Man. Talk about two chiseled out individuals in Gaylord. Look at his shoulder, look at his shoulder, Greg. After that, that little display, that ritual display by Rasta the Voodoo Man, now Gaylord's having trouble with his shoulder. Rasta just shoves Gaylord away. Maybe he doesn't need a voodoo doll. Missouri. Jeff Gaylord, who holds a lot of weightlifting records in the Big Eight, pretty much all of them has never had to face anything like this. Look at just the sheer power of the Voodoo Man. What's even more impressive, look at the size of Jeff Gaylord. He hits him with the clothesline. Ah, uh, Rasta goes down to the pounce. Jeff Gaylord. But look at Rasta. I think uh -oh. that just got the man angry. Good heavens. Gaylord, a former professional football player, but I don't think on any gridiron in any city in this country did he ever run across anybody like Rasta. Gaylord in 1982, a fourth-round pick of the L.A. Rams, 88th player overall picked out of the University of Missouri, but never when he looked across the lines of the NFL did he see a man six foot seven, 317 pounds of a bad man to the Rasta voodoo bone. He is absolutely incredible. Now there's Gaylord with a high cross body, takes the big man Look down. Look at the power out of the ring goes Jeff Gaylord. Unbelievable. Look at the size of Jeff Gaylord. Look at the size of Rasta the Voodoo Man and just think that Rasta just threw that body right there. Jeff Gaylord threw the ropes from inside the ring from a prone position. He had to bench press every, every dab of the 275 pounds that Jeff Gaylord is, press him and toss him back. Any weightlifter can appreciate what Rasta just did, including me. That's an incredible feat of strength by Rasta the Voodoo Man, and Jeff Gaylord is impressed, too. Jeff Gaylord, who can press 525 pounds on the bench, that's a big eight record. But all the pressing in the world cannot help you when you meet the Voodoo Man as he just challenges Gaylord, says, bring it on, big man. It's just not intimidating, the Voodoo Man. Drop kick right to the chops. Count of one, but once again, throwing him out of the ring is the Voodoo Man. No intimidation necessary when you can hit that standing drop kick like Jeff Gaylord just did and drop the big Voodoo Man. Gaylord doing his best just to get back into the ring. The Big A Defensive Player of the Year back in 1981 very much on the defense against the Voodoo Man. You know, wrestling is 99% physical, Craig, but there's that 1%, that mental aspect of wrestling, and Rasta has got it. Look at that face. Look at all that face paint. I, I, I would like to get just a, a photograph. I don't want to look at the real deal there. I want to see a photograph of the man's face to see if there's any 
ritualistic symbolism in the face paint he wears. Gaylord with a cross. Excuse me, Gaylord with a cross body count of one. You gotta hand it to Jeff Gaylord. There's no way he could have scouted this man. No way he could have ever heard, seen, or done anything to or with or about Rasta. And he's coming in here taking the measure of this man. He's taking the best that Rasta has to offer and he's standing up straight to him. You know, I scouted many men for the Global Wrestling Federation, but I don't know the man who found this man, Rasta the Voodoo Man. Apparently coming in from our sources down in the Caribbean. That must have been one of our scouts down there brought him up because there's no way that any organization in the world could have seen this man coming. How do you approach somebody like Rasta and say, listen, we want you to beat people up in a ring for money? Like he's going to turn that down. To the ropes goes Rasta the Buddha man. Tried to get the sunset flip, came down on the small of the back. Look at that face. If that wouldn't just scare the paint off a wall, I've never seen it. That is intimidating like you would not believe, Craig. And the total perspiration showing on Rasta the Voodoo Man, all the voodoo war paint just absolutely oozing in and out of the skin of the Voodoo Man. I'll tell you what's eerie is that Rasta did that thing with the cane and pointing to his shoulder, and then Gaylord has been just favoring that shoulder the entire match before a hand was laid on him. He absolutely was rubbing that shoulder, checking it, making sure it was right. A little bit of stinging pain in there, and it's getting a little worse as the match goes on. He doesn't need a voodoo doll to work his magic on any of these global wrestlers. This guy is going to be really, really worth keeping an eye on. Well, the officials of the competition committee of the GWF very concerned about the image of their wrestlers and for sure they said there's no black magic allowed in this. Good. Close line by Gala. Count of one. But once again, the Voodoo Man presses him out of the ring. That is so impressive. That is so impressive. How can he do that? Where do you train? Where do you go to learn how to do that? The answer to that question is you can't. You can lift all the, the weight you want to in a weight room, but that weight doesn't fight back. And Jeff Gaylord's fighting back, but it doesn't matter to Rasta. Rasta's treating Gaylord like he was just a 45-pound bar with three 45s on each side. I have seen Jeff Gaylord in action many times before, but I don't think he's ever oh, met a test out. like he's meeting here right now. Never. Rasta the Voodoo Man no. from Montego Bay, Jamaica. 317 pounds. Six foot seven. No way Gaylord or anybody else has ever had to deal with anybody like Rasta. The Voodoo Man going to work with the headlock. Look at the back muscles and the pectoral muscles just absolutely clamping down on Gaylord. Now, a powerful man in his own right, Jeff Gaylord, trying to power out, but the Voodoo Man has some tricks up his sleeve. Unbelievable. Rasta the Voodoo Man, the Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord, two great bodies in there fighting it out. I don't think there's a more evenly matched pairing in the first round of this television tournament, Craig. The Voodoo Man steps over, comes down, and oh! Right to the chest! The Voodoo Man goes up, comes down with a leg drop. Jeff Gaylord in dire straits here. The double axe handle, Gaylord being chopped down like a mighty tree. Oh. Gaylord tried to hang with it. He tried to hang tough and keep up in that on all fours position, but those elbows, those axe handle drops, just too much to handle, and he dropped to the middle of the ring at the hands of Rasta the Voodoo Man. Rasta goes over to the corner. Oh, no. Air Jamaica? No! Just comes down again! Right across the throat, the mammoth muscles of Rasta the Voodoo Man. I think the voodoo man, look oh at that body. Gaylord coming back. Somehow he got 
the strength to do it. But a rake of the eyes by the voodoo man. Let's look at it this way. Rasta the Voodoo Man has used some wrestling holes, so he obviously has some wrestling experience. He's put on headlocks. He's done some backflips. He's done a lot of stuff that shows he didn't just walk out of the fields and there's a clothesline, a good classic wrestling move that drops the big Missouri Tiger, Jeff Gaylord, like a rock right in the middle of the ring, and Rasta moves in. This could be the final kill, Craig. The Voodoo Man sends him to the ropes, misses with a clothesline, cross body block, count of one, count of two, but Rasta kicks out again. I just don't see a way you can beat the Man. There is no way. This man is too big, he's too tough, and look at this, he is impervious to pain. Everything Jeff Gaylord has thrown at him, he's taken and asked for more. The old thank you, sir, may I have another routine in the ring by Rasta the Voodoo Man. Rasta using both his legs and his arms to press the neck of Jeff Gaylord into that middle rope. The Voodoo Man have just we, eyeing his prey. Have we ever seen Jeff Gaylord take this much abuse at the hand of one man? He's been double teamed, triple teamed like anybody else has, but there's a great shot by Jeff Gaylord to the midsection, and Rasta is stunned. Watch Gaylord. Another shot to the midsection. Gaylord fighting back. Rasta again, another shot. Gaylord coming back. Could this be the big Superman comeback by Gaylord? Those right hands, those singing right hands. Gaylord's getting pumped into the ropes. Comes back a right hand that drops to the big Rasta, the Voodoo Man. Well, the Voodoo Man goes down, but look, he gets right back up. Can anything destroy Rasta? Here comes Gaylord in and hits his shoulder. The shoulder. The shoulder. Count of one, count of two, count of three. That's the shoulder. Oh. He called it. He called it before the match. Rasta said. He, he pointed to it. He pointed the cane and everything. He said the shoulder. Oh. Rasta the voodoo man, the winner. This is here. Back with more. Oh. I'm here in this auto graveyard to demonstrate new finish, the once-a-year car polish. Simply wipe it on and wipe it off. There's no rubbing, no buffing. Look how new finish restored a deep, hard shine to even this weather-beaten old car. You see, new finish is not a wax. It's a space-age polymer formula that shines better and lasts longer. And here's proof. An independent laboratory tested new finish against several leading brands of car polish. After simulating a full year of varying weather, New Finish had the highest gloss and actually retained 90% of its original shine. Next, we polished this car with New Finish and ran it through 52 car washes. After all the harsh detergents and scrubbing, the water still beads. You'll find New Finish is great for fiberglass boats, too. So get New Finish, the once-a-year car polish. And between polishings, use New Finish car wash to clean your car. New Finish liquid, rated number one by leading consumer magazines, available at Sears, Woolworth, Kroger, True Value, Ace Hardware, Western Auto, Eckert Drug, Walgreens, Kmart, and other leading stores. Live, top rank boxing on ESPN. The place where fighters have stepped into the ring as unknown, made the right connection, and emerged as champions. You gotta knock them out the winches, all right? It's a humdinger night of knockout artists on Top Rank Boxing. Heavyweights Alex Garcia and Jerry Goff unload their knockout punches. Live Thursday night at 9 Eastern on ESPN. <laughs> Eight men have advanced to the second round as we join you for this edition of the Wrestling News Center. And among those men, two people in particular, a wild man and a man who stands for the red, white, and blue, Wild Bill Irwin and the Patriot. Absolutely. We'll see the Patriot and Wild Bill Irwin coming up in the tournament later. That's absolutely two opposite styles. Wild Bill Irwin, the whip, the cowboy hat, the mustache, just absolutely a wild man in the ring. He's aptly named as Wild Bill Irwin. Going against the Patriot, red, white, and blue, rather, from every hometown in the United States of America, representing everything great about America. Absolutely two different styles. That's going to be a great match. Talking about a cowboy, how about bad boy Billy Black going against Randy Rhodes, a big man with a big elbow. A big man, a big elbow, and a big ego, like just about everybody else with that name comes across as. Billy Black, Randy Rhodes is going to be a great match. Billy Black 
smaller of the two, much more adept at the Japanese style, the Lucha Libre style of wrestling. Flies around a lot, drop kicks, top rope moves, everything. Randy Rhodes is going to have his handful with the bad boy Billy Black. Terry Garvin against Norman would have been the oh, matchup, no. but it's Terry Garvin now against Muckham Singh. And that's all the difference in the world there, Craig, as Muckham Singh is not Norman, despite the fact that he looks like him, despite the fact that he dresses, smells like him, or whatever variable you want to put in there. That's not Norman. That's Muckham Singh, and he is vicious in that ring. And I tell you what, Terry Garvin better watch out. As the tournament rolls on we'll be bringing you more and more up to date about the personalities of these men but i gotta tell you of the guys that we've talked about the patriot really shows the red white and blue and i think that a lot of the people are behind him and are very proud that a man just stands for his country a great american the patriot he gets a great reaction from the crowd just by walking out they love this guy and he is a man to watch in this tournament we're going to tell you about some of the other people to watch coming up on following news centers we'll be back with more in the Global Dome, Bonnie Blackstone back with another one of our uh, faithful GWF viewers here. This is Freddie, and you wanted to make some comment or ask a question about uh, Mucka Singh and some of his recent actions. There's no reason to ask you a question, Bonnie. No reason at all. As far as Mr. Singh goes, you should know, these wrestling fans all across the country should know, that they have been duped. They have been duped by an evil genius. You know it. They know it. They are about to see Mr. Singh rule global wrestling. Maybe later on in this edition I'll be asking Mr. Singh why now he's singing quite a different song. What does it take to be a mountain man? Let's see. A mountain man must be fearless, sure-footed, willing to answer the call of the wild. But most of all, a mountain man should be thirsty for a smooth bush beer or an easy drinking bush life. So, head for the mountains and see if you have what it takes to be a real mountain man. Man. Would you like to see something really incredible? Then look at this. These are real diamond rings. Perhaps more diamond rings than most people see in their entire lives. Each beautiful butterfly sculpture is crowned with a genuine quarter-point diamond, specially set and faceted to enhance its luster and magnify its visual impact. Over $9 million worth of diamonds like these have already been sold. And the ring itself is layered entirely in genuine 18 karat gold. Yet all of these diamond rings, all one million of them, will be sold during this special nationwide publicity campaign. Yes, you truly can own one of these diamond rings if you're among the first one million people to phone this toll-free publicity number. To order, call toll-free 1-800-733-4100. That's 1-800-733-4100. Save COD charges by using your Visa or MasterCard. Look at the size of this guy. He is so thick. We've seen all these muscled up bodies come through here tonight, like Jeff Gaylord, Rasta. Yeah, it's, uh, it's right. Pardon me. That's the, the cigar smoke just made it up to our broadcast position. And Jimmy James says, I know how big a bully Mr. Busick is. I better take advantage of it as soon as I can. We were talking about the muscled up bodies. This guy, I guarantee you, can outlift them in the weight room. He's got that thick power lifter's physique. He doesn't worry about having abs and just the cut up triceps and biceps and the back muscles and the lateral obliques. He just wants to get in there and lift all the weight he can and he does. Big Bully Busick is one of the strongest professional wrestlers in professional wrestling. Well, right now, Big Bully Busick is, uh, as a Big Bully might say, getting a little upset because he's not doing too well against Jimmy James out of Amarillo, Texas. Well, young Jimmy James from Amarillo coming in here against the, the, the veteran, Big Bully Busick. Now, here's a man who has held the Georgia State Championship on more than one occasion. That's just one of many belts he's held. Now, we know where the Georgia Heavyweight Championship can lead you. Almost every World Heavyweight Champion over the last 20 years has held the Georgia Heavyweight Championship at one time in their career. So it is a stepping stone, and Big Billy Music was a very, very 
What's the word I'm looking for here, Greg? He was a fighting champion. How about that? He would fight anybody and everybody that came up. He would even go find people to fight when he was Georgia heavyweight champion. And now he's here in the Global Wrestling Federation. But James comes up with a high cross body. And look at how Busick just tosses him over. A single leg takedown by Busick on the ref. Almost Wait a minute. Ref. What? I, I was looking down at my notes and all of a sudden... That was Sean O'Brien. Wait a minute. Now, he's running the risk of being disqualified and having a serious, serious fine levied against him by the officials of the Global Wrestling Federation, but watch Jimmy James. Watch him from behind. Don't look now, big bully. Hello. Oh, the chop across the chest. And the chant of Mario rings out. Oh, pretty. Reverse arm drag. That takes some power in the biceps. Absolutely. One arm. He took a big 240, 230-pound man over in a complete flip with just his left arm. His left arm, and he's a righty. Now, the shame of it all is that big bully Busick, a former fan favorite, used to be one of the most powerful, one of the most scientific wrestlers you'd ever want to see. And then this attitude change, and now shortcuts galore for the big bully from Powerhouse Hill. And he does look like my... Uh-oh. Can't no, say no, it. Oh. He's going to hear us up here. I mean, he's a lot worse than us calling Jonathan Norman. You and I may be the world's tallest announcing team, but we're not exactly the world's strongest. Not even close. We're probably not even in the top ten. And I don't care, even if we were number two, I don't want to get in a, in a tussle with Big Bully Music because that guy's mean and he's big and he could do something to us and I don't want to have it done to me. Jimmy James, who has met many tough opponents in his life. As a matter of fact, his first match against the late Adrian Adonis. Talk about a tough competitor. Well, that's starting at the top. Adrian Adonis, one of the great, great wrestlers. No longer with us. Adrian had a long career before his untimely death, but Jimmy James probably got some great experience in there, but nothing like he's getting at the hands of Big Bully Busey. Big Bully Busey uses that bully blaster, which anybody... It's a hard punch. It's, it, it, is, is a hard it, punch. it is. It's a hard punch. There's no getting around that, but he calls it the bully blaster. It's like a rose by any other name. And the people at the GWF have said no hard punches. Absolutely. But somehow his petition has convinced some members of the competition committee that the bully blaster is not a hard punch. You and I see that it's a hard punch, but apparently he had enough votes. One of those sports controversies like instant replays in the NFL, you always have them, and the bully just happens to be taking advantage of one of them. What we should do is get the entire competition committee for the GWF just lined up in the ring, have each one of them take that bully blaster and just let them tell us if it's a hard punch or not. Wouldn't be any controversy after that. Probably wouldn't be any commissioners either, but that's another dance altogether. Look at that mug on my uh, big bully Busick. Do I have to? <laughs> Snapmare. And now trying to snap the neck. Mm. Well, I think once you've snapped the mare, you've just about snapped out. But a snap neck hurts. Look at this outfit on Jimmy James, Craig. I don't think, now look at Big Bully Busick's outfit. He says it's just black and just a little bit of red in there. Not a lot of this neon, multicolored, flowery pattern stuff. He's not into that. Watch out, Busick. Over the top rope goes Jimmy James down towards the interview area here at the Global Dome. And Jimmy James, wondering where Wharton, West Virginia is himself. I think he thinks he's there. He probably wants to be there. Oh, here it comes. Oh, this is it. It's a hard punch, but he goes in the bully blaster. Look, he just dropped. He just dropped. Well, what is this? What is he doing? Trying to make it look like a easy pin. Oh, come on. But the man who put Weirden on the map, that's where Powerhouse Hill is, and that's where your winner comes from. Hi, this is Ernie Harwell with a word about the independent agents who represent Citizens Insurance Company. 
At Citizens, we offer a full range of property and liability protection for autos, homes, boats, and businesses. But we know that it's our statewide network of independent agents that really makes insurance work for you. Citizens takes pride in working with some of Michigan's finest independent insurance agents. Knowledgeable, professional agents. Agents who live in and understand the needs of their local communities. Chances are you may already know one. So if you're looking for auto, home, boat, or business insurance, talk to someone you can trust, your local independent citizens agent. Working together since 1973, Citizens Insurance Company and the Harbor Brand Agencies provide quality insurance protection for all of your insurance needs, for your home, boat, auto, and business. The Harbor Brand Agencies, known for the company we keep. Bonnie Blackstone, back with you again, fans. And everybody around the country and across the globe is asking the Global Wrestling Federation about their stars. Namely, you... Their star! Their star! Me! Mucka Singh! Get the name right! They're not asking about stars, they're asking about star! Me! One of our viewers that was here at the Global Dome just, uh, just moments ago asked us about you and the, the radical change once you were known as Norman Lowe. Shut up with Why? Norman! Shut up with Norman! Forget Norman! They should rename this place the Global Dome. Why don't they call it the Mucka Dome or Mucka Chapel, maybe? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Where, what about all the teddy bears? What about all your fans? Teddy bears and toys are a little for little snot-nosed, sniveling people like you, Blackstone. That's what they're for, little snot-nosed people like you. So forget the teddy bears, forget the toys. Look at this. It's time to come into Global Wrestling Federation and show just what I'm made of. Nobody leads me around. Nobody tells me what to do. I just destroy and hurt people. And you know something, Blackstone? This is the last time I want to see you. It takes desire and dedication to break out of the mold of an average body. General Nutrition Centers can help you break the mold. With Heavyweight Gainer 900, just one serving delivers over 900 low-fat calories to help you pack on the pounds and break the mold. Champions Heavyweight Gainer 900, satisfaction guaranteed. GNC, the authority in sports nutrition products. I have to tell you about this method of exercise that helps you have a firmer stomach without sit-ups. It's called the tummy sizer method, and it was originally developed by a European doctor. Just clip on the tummy sizer and extend and contract your stomach muscles, then relax. The tummy sizer helps make sure you do this isometric correctly. You work out your abdominal muscles in just minutes a day, counting your reps as you firm your stomach. What's so fabulous about the Tummy Sizer Method is that it works great even when you're in a relaxed position. That's why I love the Tummy Sizer Method. It's the way I like to work out. For a firmer stomach without sit-ups, call toll-free now from Fitness Quest. To order, call 1-800-645-8200. Use your credit card to avoid COD charges, force, and check or money order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Tummy Sizer, P.O. Box 50, Department A.E., Los Angeles, California. Why should you watch ESPN's Friday Night Baseball? Why ask why? Try ESPN's live Friday Night Doubleheader. I am the nature boy. Any other nature boy is old news. Well, that's the attitude he's going to take. I don't know that I agree with that, but Buddy Landell, for his attitude, for his I'm the only nature boy stuff he throws around all the time, he's a talented wrestler in that ring, and he knows every shortcut, and Gary Young better just be on his toes. He's in there against somebody. Oh! He just decked the ref. Mo Landell decked the referee. Absolutely. Now he's trying to make it look like Gary Young did it, and see if the, see if the ref, see if James Bridges is going to buy off on this. No way. Well, the beer chastising Mr. Gary Young and Buddy Landell uh, getting away with a little chicanery. Oh boy. Well, he's done that all of his career. Buddy Landell, a long career in wrestling. He's probably entering about his sixth or seventh year. We can't attribute any youthful exuberance to any of his mistakes anymore. And Landell, once again, hits the referee James Beard, and now he's going to make him look like Young did it again. 
The well, crowd we know, doesn't believe it. We know that Hustler Rip Rogers can sell a bill of goods, but quite frankly, Nature Boy Buddy Landell doing a pretty good sales job himself. If they could have that as an Olympic event for the 96 Olympics in Atlanta, these two would be number one and two on the hit parade. Well, I know the people at the home office of the GWF in Barcelona looking forward to the 92 game. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm sure Buddy Landell has got tickets to the opening ceremonies over there. Or do you need tickets to work the concession stand? Collar and elbow tie-up. No! No! If, if he's claiming it was a fist, he's claiming it was he just slapped his hands together, and now he's telling the ref that Gary Young used the fist, which we all know is a violation of GWF rules. And in the words of a uh, famous rap artist, I don't think so. I don't think so at all. But Buddy Landau does. Look at this. Let me. Where's this Emmy you won last year? Let me. I want to go present that to Landau because this is the best performance by an actor in a leading role in a television show I've seen in a long time. The gorgeous Gary oh, Young. Oh, Mr. Innocent. Look at this. This is amazing. Well, Buddy Landell. Oh, poor Buddy. Oh, Buddy is more like it. Now, Beard telling gorgeous Gary Young, you can't use the fist. He never used the fist. You know, we can't blame the referee here. The referee is doing his job. He heard that massive slappage. It sounds like a fist just blackening the eye of Buddy Landell. Landell complains to the ref. The ref says, I heard it. He says it. I believe it. Buddy Landell is about to pay for all his trickery in the seat. Three chops from gorgeous Gary Young, who pulls him over with a hip toss. Goes for the clothesline over the top of the road. Gary Young getting gets a little bit of revenge there, and it is oh so sweet for the gorgeous one as Landell on the floor trying to get those cobwebs out. As I don't think there's any way he can lie his way back into that ring. James Beard, you were mentioning we can't blame the referee. Here's a man who works in Japan mm -hmm. for one of the affiliated organizations of the Global Wrestling Federation. Over in Japan, mm -hmm. well-respected official, which shows you how good of a con artist Mr. Buddy Landell may very well be. This is not a rookie referee. This man works for the Super McGain Optical Wrestling Alliance over in Japan, the SWS, which is a subsidiary of the Global Wrestling Federation. He can absolutely see through any chicanery on the part of a professional wrestler, but Buddy Landell is so talented at it that he's got this experienced, competent referee believing that Young has used the fist on one occasion and has absolutely decked the referee twice. Unbelievable. Well, Buddy Landell, the nature boy who is very proud of his looks, trying to alter without a license the looks of gorgeous Gary Young. Coming up next time with the Global Wrestling Federation, we move into round number two. And the tournament for the television championship, this is the final first round match. The winner of this match will join 11 of the top wrestlers in the world to go for the television title. And what a tournament it's been, Craig. Every match, a main event, every match, a a sure sellout in any arena you want to put it in and we've had it all here on television for the gwf television championship this match included could sell out any arena buddy landell gary young a new feud but i think it's going to be a violent one if there's anything to be done with it because landell and gary young obviously do not like each other Landell has tried everything he could to get Young in trouble with the referee. Young doesn't appreciate it, so there's some real animosity here growing, uh, growing between Landell and Young. And there's a blatant pull of the hair by Buddy Landell. Referee trying to get in position. Missed it, but let's see now. And the referee going to warn Young about the fist. And again, Landell pulls the hair. It's not lost on the crowd here at the Global Dome as they all saw the actions of the Nature Boy Buddy Landell. But the referee didn't see it, and that's all that counts. Landell with a wrist lock on the left arm of gorgeous Gary Young. James Beard stops a possible punch, but Landell once again, while the referee's away, the nature boy will play. He certainly is, and the sad thing about this, Craig, is that Landell is a talented wrestler. 
in an actual wrestling match, he and Gary Young are probably about even. It would be a super match, but Landell absolutely has to take those shortcuts, and I really don't see why he thinks he has to. Well, there is one of those shortcuts right there. Forearm to the back of the neck. Landell going up to the middle rope. And right into the bread basket. Neck breaker by gorgeous Gary Young. There's the count of one, count of two, and a kick out by the Nature Boy. That was not a kick out with authority by Buddy Landell. He barely just raised his leg and squeezed down from under that pinning predicament at the hands of Gary Young. And now Gary Young taking the offensive with a big knee lift. Count of two. And well, one, man from Houston, Texas, coming oh so close. Once again, look, we saw how Rasta the Voodoo Man kicked out. We saw how Big Bully Busick kicked out. Just threw the man off. Landell just barely lifting that shoulder and sliding out from under the pin. Would eek be a good word there? Eek. You see a rat? Beside the one in the ring. To the ropes, duck under, and oh, the big right. Two times, three times. Gorgeous Gary Young. Reversal by Nature Boy Buddy Land on the roll up. He reverses it, flick on the rope, but he gets the count of three. Oh, that, oh, that's just terrible. Well, the Nature Boy gets away with one. And we'll be back. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We're here at ringside for the fight card of the century. Over 40 of the greatest bouts ever. Now you can get ringside seats to this illustrious event. Sports Illustrated proudly presents history's greatest knockout video with knockout commentary from Mike Tyson. And the video is free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated. Witness one of the greatest fights of all time, the Thrilla in Manila. See one of the best knockdown dragout fights in middleweight history. Watch Sugar Ray get his revenge in the unforgettable No Mas fight. You Rocky Marciano in his classic comeback against Jersey Joe Walcott. See Larry Holmes proudly and defiantly defend his heavyweight title. And you'll be knocked out when you hear that the video is free. Yes, history's greatest knockout video is free when you subscribe to Sports Illustrated, the magazine that gives you jolting photos, hard-hitting stories, and the no-holds-barred truth week after week. And only Sports Illustrated gives you exclusives like the football preview issues and the 92 swimsuit issue. Call today and you can get it all at savings of over 55% off the cover price. You'll get 20 free issues for three easy monthly installments of $9.99 each. For faster delivery, use your credit card. Call now and witness the fight card of the century. Watch Foreman at his best. And Lewis in his prime. The left to the jaw by Lewis. Pushing right to the jaw and Khan slowly goes to the canvas. See the infamous Phantom Punch. And this famous welterweight title fight. Call today and see how Mike Tyson become the youngest fighter to ever win the heavyweight crown. Call to order or renew today. Use your credit card. Get knockout savings on Sports Illustrated and get history's greatest knockouts video free. You're watching ESPN, the total sports network. Attitude. He's from every hometown in the United States of America. He's the Patriot. Welcome to Global, sir. Well, thank you, gentlemen. And it's a great opportunity for the Patriot to be here. An exciting opportunity for me and an exciting time, but not only for me, but for the millions of people all across the United States. Because as the Patriot, that's who I represent, are the American people. Here in the United States and all across this world, we've got men and women in our armed services that are on bases in all parts of this world. And I represent those people also. And that's my lifeline. That's my supply of energy. That's my source that carries me through this. So I'm representing all those people from big towns to little towns, everything in between. The doctors, the lawyers, the farmers, the bankers, all the professional people, all the, the laborers out there. The Patriot represents those kind of people. And that's what I'm here for. It's the first time we have a chance to talk to you. I'm sure it won't be the last. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, guys. That's the Patriot. And coming up next time, we will see the Patriot in action as we begin the second round in the challenge for the television championship. It's been exciting so far. Boy, 
It gets better and better from here. Every week we see brand new wrestlers here in Global Wrestling Federation. We see wrestlers from Japan, from Mexico, from all of the parts of the country, from Georgia, from Oregon, from New York, from Texas, from California. We see them all coming to the Global Wrestling Federation. The new measuring stick by all of the measuring wrestling promotions are measured by. We'll see all the brand new exciting wrestlers in wrestling here in the Global Wrestling Federation. Next week, brand new wrestlers, brand new matches, all part of the tournament, Craig. And we'll see Billy Black take on Randy Rhodes. That will be an exciting match. Once again, we will see the Patriot in action as he goes against Wild Bill Irwin. A lot of action still to come as the challenge for the television championship continues.